Are you thinking about applying to nursing school? Becoming a nurse is a life-changing decision and one that comes with thoughtful consideration and planning. If you're on the fence about whether to apply or you just want some professor insights into the application process, I've got some helpful tips for you. Trust me, you don't want to miss out. Hi everyone, my name is Professor Just B and this is LJ. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, this channel was created to support nursing and healthcare students just like you. As a nursing professor and educator, I offer tips and expert advice that will help you succeed in school and in your new career. If this is something that you're interested in, show me some love and support. Hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on weekly videos. There is a lot to consider when you're thinking about applying to nursing school. I mean, it's one of the biggest decisions you'll ever make in your life. Today, I'm sharing a few tips about applying to nursing school and how you can be sure that it's the right decision for you. By the end of this video, I want you to walk away with some practical strategies and insights that you can use to help guide you throughout the application process. In fact, stay till the end of this video and I'll share with you how you can get your hands on a free resource that might help you out even more. It's called the top 10 questions to consider when reviewing nursing programs. These questions will get you thinking about your future life as a nursing student and help you narrow your decision to the nursing program that fits you best. Applying to nursing school is not like filling out just any old plain form like you would at the driver's license office or your doctor's office. It takes time. So it's better to start the process early to ensure you've met all the criteria of the application. There are many elements of the application that you need to complete and that takes some time. So starting early can save you a lot of stress and unintended errors. In Canada, most nursing programs begin accepting applications as early as November with deadlines ranging from December to March. So make sure to check individual program websites for important dates and deadlines, such as the application deadline, the deadline for supporting documents, the deadline for financial aid, and any deadlines for major entrance scholarships that you are eligible for. Once you know when the deadline is and you know those deadline dates, you can work backwards and start to chip away at each element of the application. And remember, Deadlines may be different depending on if you are applying right after high school or whether you are a mature student. Although there are many nursing programs you could apply to, my advice is that you spend time researching each and every one of them to ensure it's the right fit for you. Yes, at the end of the day, each program issues a diploma or a degree, and of course that's the goal, but how you get there is just as important. In my opinion, before you go spending hours and hours and hours researching nursing programs, you first need to ensure that the program is number one, accredited, and number two, approved by the nursing regulatory body in your jurisdiction. And what does each of these mean? Well, let's start with accreditation. Accreditation is a review process that evaluates nursing education programs. It's a stamp of approval that ensures the program is based on the best practices and established quality standards. So when a program is accredited, then you can be sure that it has met the criteria for high quality nursing education. Here in Canada, the Canadian Association of Schools of Nursing, or CASN, is the national accrediting body for nursing education. If you check out their website, they have a list of all the accredited nursing programs listed by province. Graduating from an accredited program is also important because it allows you to attend other accredited schools should you decide to pursue advanced or graduate studies later on. In addition to determining whether the program is accredited, you also want to ensure it is approved by the regulatory nursing body in your local province or state. In other words, does the nursing regulatory body approve of the nursing program? This is important because once you graduate, this seal of approval gives you the eligibility to write the licensing exam or the NCLEX, the National Council Licensure Examination. So for example, 
If a baccalaureate Canadian nursing program in the province of Ontario is approved by the College of Nurses of Ontario, the CNO, which is the regulatory body, that means that when you graduate from the program, you will be eligible to write the NCLEX. Now, once you know if a program is accredited and approved, then you can really dive into some more details to narrow down your pick. In fact, stay until the end of this video and I'll share with you my top 10 questions to consider when reviewing nursing programs. I want you to remember this. Nursing programs are not all created equal. Each one has its own strengths, philosophies, and approaches to learning. You want to be absolutely sure that your program that you choose aligns with your values, your learning style, and even your career goals, because it can really determine what type of experience you have in nursing school. Newsflash, getting into nursing school means you got to bring your A game, literally. The competition is fierce, I'll tell you. I'll be honest, it's a tight race. Nursing programs get hundreds and hundreds of applications and only select the best candidates for that given cohort. It's no secret that many nursing programs have a high admission cutoff score, and some programs are even cutting off their score at 80%. And you might think, yeah, okay, I'll apply, I meet the criteria, and then you apply and then you get rejected. Now, don't get discouraged because admission cutoff grades change every year. It's not a guarantee you'll get into the program if your grades are equal or better than what is listed. Instead, programs look at your complete academic record, as well as any other supporting documents or information. At the end of the day, nursing programs are looking for candidates who can successfully complete each aspect of their program and eventually graduate to be competent and qualified nurses. And let me just say one last thing about applying to nursing school. If at first you don't succeed, try again. In my years of nursing, I've taught many, many students who have applied to nursing school either multiple times or who have found a way to get into healthcare. Everyone's career path is different. Some students start by becoming a personal support worker or a healthcare aide, and then they went on to becoming a nurse. Other students may have started by getting their diploma as a practical nurse, and then they bridged over to the registered nurse. Or you might start out doing health sciences and then apply into the nursing program afterwards. Either way, your career path is unique. There is no right or wrong way. And at the end of the day, having the letters R N at the end of your name is what really matters. Applying to nursing school is a huge decision and one that should be thoroughly thought out. It's important to start your application early so you don't overlook any criteria. Select a program that best fits you and enables you to be successful and be sure your application really allows you to shine because it's highly competitive. If you're looking for a few more pointers and questions to consider as you think about applying to nursing school, I've got a free resource called Top 10 Questions to Consider When Reviewing Nursing Programs. These are questions you really want to think about when you are reviewing potential nursing programs. So just click on the link in the description box below follow the instructions and we'll email it to you for free. Hey guys, thanks for joining me on the JLT channel today. I promise I've got more good content for you like this video over here. And don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and even share this video with a friend because it's just like that. <laughs>